rats have got to go. Yes, I know that already. Yeah, which for a start means all that rubbish in next door's yard's got to be shifted. Emma, you don't have to convince me. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, well, get on with it then. Me? Yes, you, because Les Battersby will sit on his backside till the rats eat the settee from underneath him. Get on to the council this morning. Who will it be for that sort of thing, environmental health? Now, wait a minute. It sounds a bit like informing on your next-door neighbour, does it? Yeah, but our next-door neighbour should have got the rat catchers in himself, and has he? No. Will he? No. Not if I know the idol. Right. Yeah, all right. Hiya. <sighs> all right, Les. Hiya. Uh, I just wanted to let you know about our furry friends. They're not our furry friends, Les. They're rotten, stinking <laughs> vermin. That's why I'm here. To put your minds at rest. I'm tackling the problem this very day. No danger. Les is on the job. It's as good as sorted. Good lad. I'm glad to hear it. Right, that's all I came to tell you, so I'll be off. Oh! And by the way, Curly. What? You make a wonderful mother. <laughs> Right, see, what, what I want to know about Joe Carter is this. No, what, what, why has Baldwin took him on when he's been in Nick? Maybe they're old pals. No, they don't seem like old pals when they're talking and that. Mm. Not to me, anyway. I bet Baldwin's his dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, cos from what you hear, he's put himself about a bit in his time, Baldwin. Fizz, don't be such a daft beggar. <laughs> no, but straight, though. How come Baldwin's took him on? He probably don't know he's been in Nick. No, he does, though, according to Dev. So what baffles me, why would he let him anywhere near his pay cash? Well, I'd like to know what he's been in prison for. So ask him, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're too scared, so I will. Hiya. Morning, ladies. Morning. Morning, boss. Ladies? Who's he calling ladies? He didn't mean you, Karen. He with the rest of us. Do you reckon it's true, then, about Joe being in prison? I suppose it must be. I know one thing for sure. Dev really enjoyed me getting the bad news. Yeah, but have you talked to Joe about it? No, I'm not going to either. I don't even want to see him. Do you really mean that? Yeah, I do. I mean, he wasn't honest with me, was he? I'm, I'm not going to get involved with men who weren't honest with me. Not again. <laughs> you should be so lucky. By the time you find out the line, you're in over your head, love. Well, I've heard I'm laying on food, you know, which means that the sample come will take advantage. So that's what we're laying on. No need to go mad. Crisps? Yeah, a few bowls on bar. Not too full. They'll only go soggy. And peanuts? Salted, mind. Get some thirsty. Get some sopping. Are we doing any sandwiches? Well, they'll have had the tea, won't they? I might pop over to the shop and uh, bring over some dinky pies that our Ashley hasn't got rid of. <laughs> Hang on. Shh. Turn out. Betty Love, what brings you here? Oh, Shanks, it's Bonnie, what do you think? You told me to come in and collect my wages. Did I? Yes. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, I've not had time, love. Look, how much time do you need to get what I've got coming? It's not as if I'm wheeling it off in a barrow, is it, on your wages? Yes, well, yes, but it all takes time, you know. Oh. I mean, you know, it, well, it's got to be worked out, has not it? it? Yeah. Over time and deductions yeah. and that. I've been run off my feet. Have you? Yes. Mm. See, listen, would you bear with me till later? Say, half past five this after? I suppose I'll have to do. <laughs> Publicans, I've shot them. Oh, hello. You got it finished then? Uh, just about, oh, yes. Uh, it took me and Peter hours. Oh. Not bad, I suppose. Well, that's faint praise. We're very proud of it. Yes, oh, the Lord. Has a um, up I think it's going to rain. Well, I just want to know that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, morning, Betty. Morning, morning Betty. Morning, Molly. Okay. Aidy! How come you're not in school today? I didn't feel like it today. How come you're not? I have to take Bethany to the clinic. Uh, well, I'm going into town now. You want to come? Yeah, great. Um, if Bethany can come. No, come on. You can't take a little kid place I fancy going. Well, there's no one to mind her, and I can't just leave her. Well, forget it then. See ya. Oh, by the way, I finished with Todd. Yeah? See you around. You're looking particularly pleased with yourself today, oh, Norris. Thank you. Am I, Rita? Oh, that's highly perceptive of you. I do have reason to be somewhat elated. You've come into money. No, oh, even better than that. I have been accepted as a volunteer for the Commonwealth Games. That's better than coming into money. Well, to me it is, yes. Oh. I mean, they're, they're very selective, you know. 
I mean, you have to be a committed team player with a positive attitude and a strong desire to have fun. Even so, you got through? Uh, please, don't be flippant, Rita. No. I'm thrilled. I mean, for two whole weeks, no. I shall be at the centre of a great event. Huh? Rubbing shoulders with the elite, distinguished visitors, VIPs from all over the Commonwealth. <laughs> Mind you, in private but I still refer to it as the Empire. <laughs> hey, you could be drummed out for that. Uh, Hang on a minute. What about your job here? I think if you check the files, you will find I booked the relevant two weeks ages ago. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, when I first applied, I shall be using my holiday entitlement. <laughs> well, you be careful. How do you mean? Don't let them have you for a mug. I mean, if they give you a job pulling javelins out of that turf, you watch your back. That's all I'm saying. All right, love, come on. It's an easy way of doing this, all right? They're lining up so it's just over the edge of the elastic. All right? Mm. That's it through, got it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, you've forgotten how to use the sewing machine, have you, Karen? No. Nope. And uh, neither of you, by the looks of it. So go on, what did you learn on? Is it uh, sewing mailbags? Or do they not do that now? You what? Hey, it's three o'clock, it's not knocking off time. So come on, let's get some work done. So I just thought it'd be nice to give orders instead of taking them all the time. So you are, Karen. That includes you. Right between the eyes. Hey, what's he look on his face? <laughs> just give it a rest, Karen. Yeah. And like he says, get some flaming work done instead of leaving it to the rest of us. Hey. <laughs> You've been shooting your mouth off. What? Oh, you word. It doesn't say much working out. My machinists know I've been inside and you were the only one round here who knew that. Well, no, Baldwin knows. It was him who told me. Hmm. Mike's in Spain. Yes, yeah, so? Doesn't mean he couldn't let one or two people in on your recent uh, experiences. But, yeah, I did mention it to a cousin of mine. He must have let it slip. Still, didn't think you were the type to be embarrassed so easily. Who's embarrassed? I'm here to make sure you know that I know who put the knife in. Well, the way I see it, maybe some people are entitled to know the facts. People like Gina, for instance. OK, sunshine. Now I know exactly where I stand with you. Hmm. But do you know exactly where you stand with Gina? Oh. <coughs> oh. Pint Jack and the Scotch Vera. Here, strain your face, it's party time, innit? Yeah, I'm not moved. The times I've heard our Jack say that at bedtime. <laughs> You've got to force yourself, that's what I tell our Jack. Will you give all of it? I fuck believe in you. Ah, oh, oh, medium yeah. sherry, oh. Emily. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Here. Yeah. Should you send a taxi for Betty? No, no, it should take the surprise away. Well, how can you be sure she'll come? Oh, yes. She has to come to get her wages. I've enticed her, you see. It's the only way. One thing I've learned in my life, you cannot get a pig to run after an empty swill bucket. <laughs> Gordon! Good to see you! And you too, Caroline. Oh, it's good to be here, Ken. Isn't it, Caroline? At long last. It's taken us six and a half hours to get here from Wimbledon. The motorway was beyond belief. Still, we got here in the end. Well, Betty's going to be so thrilled to see you both. Oh, wouldn't have missed it for the world, would we? We wouldn't have dared. Well, let's have a drink, eh? Hang on, hang on. This is on me. You'll be Betty's lad, I take it. That's right. And this is my wife, Caroline. Oh, isn't she lovely? Uh, Red Elia landlord. Your mother's been a Trojan here. She's been a grenadier. It won't be same pub without her. I say it won't be same pub. Ah, good stuff makes a good pub. Dedicated cellarman. Happy smiling bar stuff. Some more than others. Now, see, put that wallet away. Your money's no good in here. Well, not for your first drink, any road. All right, ladies, thanks very much. I'll see you tomorrow morning, all right? Yeah, you hope. Unless we go off the wall in the middle of the night. <laughs> Something on your mind, Karen? Something you want to say? No, just wondering. You know, no law against being curious now, so. And what is it you want to know? I want to know what you were in for. I mean, go on, is it something sad like whipping knickers off washing lines or... Uh... Pack it in, Karen. Yeah, give it a rest. So, gonna tell us. 
Shall I tell you why she's interested? Because her husband's been inside. Twice, actually. Thieving. That were the first time. Shut up, Janice. And then the second time. What were that for? Oh, ah, yeah. Conspiring to pervert the course of justice. That were it. Right, just keep your nose out. Oh, come on, Karen. If you can ask him, why can't I ask you? I mean, what do you want? Something nice and juicy to chat about over your tea. What is it? All right, all right, come on, that's enough. Let's all go home. Tomorrow, let's get a good start. We've got an order to get out, OK? Can he not fight his own battles? Karen? Something I better tell yeah. you. Now, it's not what you want to know. It's what you need to know. You have been bone idle today. Now, any more of it, any more disruption, and you'll have cause to regret it. All right. I hope you understand me. All right, Gareth. Right, yeah. It's the least we can do, give your yeah. mum a bit of a leave in do. I mean, she's been here for 30 odd years, hasn't she? Yeah, it will be. Bye, Gina. You think he'll stop here that long? How about you? I can't imagine being that old. So you like Aye, but south. you will. <laughs> oh, yes, it's very pleasant. Oh. Well, I've like, been tennis, huh? Yeah, me and our Jack thought about moving down south at one time, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mackle's real, though. Yeah. Right. But then we thought, well, we're all right as we are. Well, you see, Caroline, if, if you live near a decent chippy, then why shift? Why, indeed. Right. Betty's on her way. She's just coming down the street. Oh, right. Gordon, Gordon, Hi. Caroline, you sit at the table, we'll stand in front, and then she won't spot you right away. I'm very surprised for her. Shit. Excuse me, love. <laughs> Evening. Evening. What's up? What's everybody looking at me for? Surprise, surprise, Betty! It's a party for you! Oh, and look who's here! Hello, oh, Mum! Oh, oh, it's so lovely seeing you. Oh, I'm that flustered. I didn't expect any of this. Give it a kiss. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, Gordon. <laughs> Cause you, Norris. This Commonwealth Games stuff. Do you know, I never would have believed it. Oh, I've always been public spirited, Rita. I mean, for instance, I never failed to rebuke antisocial dog owners. Eh? Hey? You know, pavement fouling. I always speak to the person responsible if I see them doing that. Yes, but I didn't have you down for the sporty type. No, oh, well, it's true. I've, I've never gone in for your field events, uh, and I've, I've never been one to hurl myself around muddy football pitches, but some sports I do pursue actively. Ooh. Wish I could say the same for Emily, but try as I might, I can't persuade her to join me. What sort of sports have you been suggesting to her? Ping pong. I offered to buy a ping pong table so we could set it up in front room, but she, you know, she was extremely negative about it. And when I suggested the possibility of a small trampoline for the backyard, she wouldn't even discuss it. Let's go to Betty's farewell do. I think we both could do with a drink. Uh, well, I would have expected a better turnout than this, to be honest. Well, it's early doors yet, Peter. This place will be packed later on. Yeah, well, if all the people have eaten Betty's hot pot over the years were laid end to end... Ah, uh, the police would be in and he'd never get his licence back. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, she's going to miss this place, you know, Betty. Mind you, don't blame her for going. Catch me working at 80. Oh, I don't know, Vera. I think that's one thing that's kept her going, hasn't it? I mean, she, she's carried on working, she's stayed fit and healthy. Yeah, well, a lot of truth in that. See, Kenneth knows about these things. I mean, take you, my little swamp dog. The last thing I want to see is you turn into some kind of vegetable because you go and give up work. But I am still working at Roy's Cafe. Well, yes, yes, but an hour here, an hour there, that isn't proper, is it? Whereas I know that they're taking girls on at the bottle factory. Not at my age, they're not. Well, you won't know till you inquire, will you? I mean, you don't look your age. They'd be glad to take somebody on like you. Oh, I want to know what your game is. Yeah, you would like me going out, slaving away while you're still in bed. And then when I come back knackered, you'd be off, supping ale, spending my wages. Right, well, there's my round, Shelley, when you've got a minute. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh... Oh, Rita, uh, good timing. I'm in the chair. What are you having? Oh, I hope this isn't interfering with any of your plans. I mean, you know, coming all this way. Of course it hasn't. As soon as we heard they were having a send-off for you, we said we had to be there, didn't we? Oh, yes. Well, it's been a wonderful surprise seeing you both. Now then, you're stopping at my house tonight. I'm not having you wasting your money in any hotel. Oh, no, we're stopping with you. Oh. And listen, 
What do you think of coming back to Wimbledon? Yeah, of course. I mean, well, you know how I love to visit. Yeah. I don't mean just to visit, but I mean for keeps. You've lived on your own long enough. Come and live with us. <laughs> see, see, see. Oh, look, here's Mummy now, look. Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mummy's home. Hiya. Who's a lovely boy, eh? Has it been OK for you? Yeah, he's been fine. And he's not slept much, which means we might be all right tonight. Oh, great, because I've had a pig of a day. What about uh, next door's yard? Has he shifted that rubbish yet? Dunno, we've not been out all day. Oh, well, let's go and have a look, cos I suspect Les Battersby's idea of a third job and my idea are two very different things. Oh, I don't believe this. Norman! Yeah? It's still the same tip he hasn't touched it. So look! Oh, there's rubbish down there that wasn't there this morning. He swore he was going to get rid of it. Well, maybe maybe he's been tied up at work all day. Yeah, and maybe he hasn't. It's not good enough. I'm not standing for it. Emma! Emma, calm down! No, I won't calm down. He needs telling, and if you won't do it, then I will. Flo, how are you diddling? Les, you said you were going to shift this muck heap and get rid of the rats. I know, I know. It's all in hand. No, it's not in hand, Les. It's still in your backyard now. Shift it. If we just shift it, what happens? The rats run out. And where do they go? Your yard. Somebody's yard, anyway. You see, I'm trying to be a good neighbour. You could have fooled me. And I want to get rid of the problem. I don't want to shift it onto somebody else. That means... Kill the rats. And this... Is how we do it. Ta da! A cat? Not any old mugger. Eh? This is Rossi, lent to me by a pal of mine. This cat is your champion. He is the rat catcher's rat catcher. Aren't you, Rossi? Yes, we're all fine. David's at his dad's for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Sarah's given Bethany a tea. What about you? You behaving yourself? <laughs> of course I trust you. I miss you too. Anyway, hope it all goes well. Yeah, I look forward to that too. You know I do. Bye. <gasps> Richard sends his love to you and Bethany. Oh, sure. You know, I don't think you know how lucky we are to have Richard. And I don't mean just me. I mean all the family. There's not everybody that'd take us all on and try to build a future for us, including you. Yes, I know. Richard's OK. He's more than OK. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and get ready for Betty's do. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm taking Sally for a night out tomorrow night, try and cheer her up. She's had a bit of a rough time lately. Mm, I know the feeling. And David's still at his dad's, so you'll be on your own. You'll be OK, won't you? Of course I will. I'm not a little kid, you know. Yeah, all right. No need to jump on me for everything I say. I was only meaning that if you wanted some company, I'd ask Emily to come oh, in for a couple right, of... Yes, thanks. OK. I'll go and get changed. Hey, Bethany. Might have a little party, eh? Invite Aidy round. What do you think? He's nice, isn't he, Aidan? Yeah. I said this morning, get on to the council. I know, I know. Yeah, and would you...? No, right. No more faffing, Norman. Phone the rat catchers and get them round here. I can't ring them now, can I? Not at this time. They've all gone home. There's no one in the office. Oh, give me strength. What do you propose doing then? Well, I don't know. Uh, hey, what about what about the hall between our yard and Les's yard? What about it? Well, we could block it up. Block it up? Yeah, block it up to stop the rats coming from his yard to our yard. I've got some cement somewhere. Norman, if you block up that particular hole, what's to stop the rats walking out of Les's gate down the gin? through our gate and into our yard. Or running up the wall and over the top, for that matter. Well, if you're going to put it like that, I suppose you're right. Norman, we need the rats to be killed. We need the vermin control men, so will you get on to it? All right. I'll ring them. First thing in the morning. So what do you think, Emily, eh? My Gordon and his wife have asked me to go down and live with them in London. I see. Yeah. Now, are you going to? Well, it's a big move at my age, isn't it? I mean, I've always lived round here, but... Uh... Well, I've been a bit lonely on my own, haven't I? Well, well, you know what it's like, don't you? Yes, I do. I don't know what to take a chance getting another lodger just for company. Now I've given up my job here, you know. Well, it's nice to be wanted, Betty. I'm 
so glad they've asked you. Well, when all's said and done, you know, your own flesh and blood, I mean, it means more than anything. So, when these Commonwealth Games starts, uh, you're going to be a steward, eh? Mm -hmm. That sort of thing, I imagine, yes. In the background, rubbing shoulders with all the athletes. Mm -hmm. Quite possibly. <laughs> So listen, if you get half a chance and you get anywhere near them synchronised swimmers, you know, you know the the birds in in, in the cosies that cover all about in the water. You, if you get involved near the baths, then give us a shout and give you help. Just, well, what exactly are you saying? I'd just like to study this sport in close quarters, you see, and I, I could get autographs off the girls, couldn't I? You've got a pen that writes underwater. It's very out in a bath. I couldn't believe it when you invited your mother out of the blue like that. It seemed like a good idea to me. I mean, she's over 80, Caroline. Well, she's in good health, and she likes her independence, I'm sure. Look out. Don't leave her leaving, There's plenty of food, you know. <laughs> Not your hot pot, Mum. No, I've made me last hot pot. Well, in this place, anyway. If I have you fancy it, I mean, just speak up. You know I love cooking, and I'd be glad to give a helping hand, you know, for Caroline. Help with the cleaning and all that. Because, oh. <laughs> well, what you said before, you know, I'd love to live with you. Thank you very, very much. Oh, that's great, Mum. Oh. What about all your old friends? Won't you miss them? Oh, well, there's only those here, but no, at my time of life, love, all your friends have passed on. Mm. I'm going to Weatherfield Cock, pub called the Rovers Return, Coronation Street, if you know it. <laughs> 